In life, my husband buys me a tourniquet, shows me how to pull the strap, how to twist the metal bar, which he says I'll need to do harder and tighter than I think it needs to go. It's going to hurt. If I'm doing it on myself, I might want to lean against a wall to give myself some leverage, something to push against. Here, try it. And I do. And then he tightens it a little more to demonstrate his point. My skin purples, always sensitive. You want it as high up the limb as possible, he says. And then you must twist until the bleeding stops. Quickly, you've only got seconds. This is his normal. His is a life of saving lives, of blood and missing limbs, and by default, it is mine. We've moved past denial, into the space of talking about the unthinkable, of being prepared like a Boy Scout, of calmly practicing technique, practicing how to save our lives, or maybe how to save the other from the dread of what not saving might mean. Though saving in this case could still mean a missing piece. There's a woman who created an Instagram account for her amputated foot. The foot gets around beaches, sporting events, airplanes. A skeletal reminder of what was once attached. Humans find so many ways to adapt. Like us here in the living room with this tourniquet. Our answer to a changing world. Something to do when the next tragedy strikes. Something to hold in our hands, something to place in our bags, which we will carry through and around this city on our way back to each other.